I started off by prepping my model with the True Curl system by Colorproof. I then redefined the curls with Curly Locks Curl Mules so I can see the curl patterns of the hair. One of the most important things when cutting curly hair is being able to cut to the point of the curl. That's why I cut hair when it's wet. I can carve a C shape where I want it. I can force the hair to go the direction I need it to go. I'm not bound by the natural curl pattern anymore. Your scissors need to be extremely sharp and clean at all times. Look, we're cutting a C shape. We're not stabbing or slicing the hair. We find our selections by following the flat spots ahead with our comb. Carving our selections and elevating upward. We're going to cut each section to the point by pushing the shears through the hair as we cut. Subsection your hair and recut again, forcing the hair into points as you cut it. We don't have a guide. We have five sections around the back of the head. Always cut to a point. When you cut the last section on the top of the head, you'll see it creates a triangle piece. You'll be tempted to cut off the point. Don't. You'll need that for structure support once you finish the hair. So make sure you're always cutting to a point. And here, don't cut the point off that you want to cut off. You want to leave it. And around the ear, make sure you do not pick up the perimeter. Only cut a little bit to fit your design line as the hair is weaker in that position. As you see here, we go to section one, section two, section three, section four, and section five. That's the back. After that, we move to the front. Once again, elevate it up, push our shear through, and then we will force the points by pushing our shear through and cutting, leaving the hair into points, you see? Subsection, and cut again. When you cut this piece here, you will notice there'll be a point that you want to cut off naturally. Don't leave that, as I said before. And around the ear, drop out the perimeter and save your baseline. I cut the sides in a large triangle, with the point of the triangle pointing to the center of the ear to reduce bulk and weight. I still cut the same section and subsection with the same technique. And then turn the hair over and cut the top of the hair, creating that point that we don't cut off. Once the sides are finished, it leaves you the fringe and the subsection of the fringe. As you can see here on my subsection, I'm only cutting the top of the section. However, you may choose to cut the top and bottom, depending on how much weight and movement you want in your design. When you get to the fringe itself, we will be using the inverted cutting technique we use in the baseline, carving C-shapes throughout the fringe. Once you get the desired look you want, your haircut is finished. Diffuse, using chopsticks to lift the hair off the base to create volume. 